Okay, so in this video we're looking at how to rearrange uh, when you've got a square or a square root. Um, so that might be that in a random kind of example, a equals b squared, and how do you make b the subject to get b equals something? Uh, well the answer is that you just square root a and get rid of the square. So you just, um, if I was to do that in another way, we're just doing that and crossing out that. Um, and then the reverse is also true um, if we're starting with um, a, what are we up to, square root of a uh, and we're wanting to equals b and we're wanting to make a the subject, we're just going to go a equals b squared. Um, so that we're squaring b and getting rid of the, the, the square root kind of thingy. The same thing works for cube roots and things like that, but um, I want to keep it simple for now. Um, I wanted to do three examples, three rearrangements, just to um, work it through. These are more complex rearrangements. I'll try and keep them, uh, I don't know, relatively, um, I don't know what you call them, detailed, so that you can see the full steps. These would also make a good um, summary of all of these rearrangement videos if you've been watching through all of them. So let's go through, starting with the d equals vit plus half at squared. Uh, just scroll that down and keep that at the bottom, so that's our... Uh, our, our one there. So if we're starting off with d equals vit plus half at squared and we want to make t the subject so we want to get to t equals something. Um, the first thing we have to do is move this bit to the other side because it's a positive value we have to subtract vit uh, from, from the right hand side. If we do that to the right hand side we've also got to do it to the left hand side so we end up with d minus v i t uh, v, v is subscript i, so the i is part of the v variable. Um, and that equals half a t squared. Okay, go back and rewatch the video if you're not sure, and if you're still not sure, go back and watch the earlier rearrangement video. I am moving a little bit quicker here, um, just for the sake of keeping this manageable in time. Um, so now we, we've got to deal with the coefficient, and we've got a coefficient that is a fraction. So because it's a half, we've got to multiply that whole side by 2. 2 over 1 times 1 over 2 equals 1. But whatever we do the right-hand side, we've also got to do the left-hand side. So we bracket the whole thing, because we're going to multiply the whole thing by 2. And this is getting a little bit clumsy looking. But if you just follow the rules and routines and don't get too hung up on the um, individual uh, bits and pieces, you'll be fine. So we've got 2, open bracket, d minus vit um, equals a t squared. Okay, so now uh, we've still got a coefficient out the front this time, which is the a. To get rid of that, we're going to divide by a. And if we do that to one side, we have to do it to the other. Uh, so we're going to cancel out our a's and we're left with t squared equals 2 d minus v i t over a. Okay, so there's one more rearrangement we have to do, which is to get rid of that, um, that square. So I'm going to do this in just a sneaky quick way. Uh, as you saw earlier, if we're getting rid of the square, we throw the whole square root over everything. So that square root's everything on that side. Okay, good to have that square root going down nice and low to do that. And so we're left with the final um, rearrangement there of t equals square root 2 t minus v i t, close bracket, divided by a. And that's how you rearrange that one. Okay, moving on a little bit quicker now. Um, we've got uh, t equals 2 pi squared squared L upon g. Um, so this is a level 3 equation, um, which is for pendulums, uh, giving the period of the pendulum. If we're trying to aim for a rearrangement to get L equals question mark, we've got to use the square root thing. So first thing, we've got this coefficient out the front here. Um, we're going to have to divide by 2 pi to get rid of it. What we do to one side, we have to do to the other, so divide by 2 pi on the t. So we're going to be left with t over 2 pi, equal because those will cancel, equals square root L over g. The square root covers the whole fraction. We've got to get rid of that, fra that um, square root before we can deal with the fraction, because that's sort of our operation. So we're going to get rid of that, and square the whole thing. We've put brackets around it to show that we're squaring the whole thing, brackets encompassing the top and the bottom. Okay, so now we're left with L upon G. Um, I'm just going to rewrite it because it's a bit messy. T over 2 pi squared. You can square it out further if you want, but we'll just keep it really simple for now. Equals L over G. Um, and if it does get messy, rewrite it. That's a safe way to approach it. 
Um, we were trying to get L by itself, so we've got to times by G, or G over 1, and if we do that to one side, we've got to do it to, to the other. That'll cancel out here, and we'll be left with, um, yeah, I'll just rewrite it all over here. L equals G times everything that was in the bracket on the left-hand side, T over 2 pi squared. There you go. Uh, one more, because this is a kind of a common one, is the kinetic energy formula, EK equals half mv squared. Um, let's go for V, trying to get V by itself. See if we can work within this space. Uh, throw a different colour in there this time. So uh, first of all, we've got to deal with that half. So we're going to multiply that side by 2. Whatever we do to one side, we've got to do uh, to the other side. So it's going to be 2 times EK. So we've got 2 EK equals MV squared. Because that, that half and the 2 cancel each other out. Okay. Going on, we've got the M out the front, we've got to divide by M, so divide by M cancels, and we're left with V squared equals 2EK over M, and then we're left with uh, the square and the square root kind of thing to deal with. So get rid of the squared, square root everything on the right hand side, and your final answer is going to be V equals square root 2EK over M. If it makes you feel better, you can put brackets around all of that too. Um, yeah, and there you go. Notation can be uh, a helpful little thing to, um, to be aware of as well. So let's say square root a is equivalent to a to the power of a half, um, or cube root a is equal to a to the power of a third. Um, and likewise, if you do one over that, then it becomes the negative of a half. Okay, cool. I hope that's helpful for you. Um, and pl please feel free to send me any questions uh, if I haven't been clear on any other stuff. Cheers.